بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور دا تھرڈ لرننگ پیتھ ویژولائز اینڈ اینالائز دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور دا ٹاپک کنفگر دا رپورٹ پیج وٹ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن کریٹ رپورٹس دا فرسٹ تھنگ دیٹ وی ڈو ان دا پروسیس آف ویژولائزنگ اینڈ اینالائزنگ دا ڈیٹا از ٹو کنفگر دا رپورٹ پیج وچ از بیسیکلی دا کینوس آف آر پاور بی آئی رپورٹ so there are certain settings associated with the report page let's have a look at some of those settings inside the power bi desktop environment so here i am inside the power bi desktop environment and this is the message that you will always see on your canvas if nothing is put on the canvas and here it says build visuals with your data select or drag fields from the data pane onto the report canvas so right now i have opened a new page and if i have nothing like the scenario right now then this is the message that you are going to get so you should be inside the report view and this is the canvas on which all your reporting all your visualizations have to be built so if you want to configure the settings related to this report canvas there are two ways to actually do that the so first way is that you just right click here on the canvas and you are going to find an option which is which says format canvas and the other way of doing that is that here in uh, just below the the data icon you are going to find the same icon so it does not matter whether you go it whether you do it from from here or you do it from the right click so i'm just going to click on this format option here and this is going to open a format pane but right now this format pane is about the canvas so whenever you click on the canvas the white portion of the canvas this this area these format settings are relevant to your report canvas so just keep this thing in mind so in the format area there are four or five areas that need to be explored so let's start with the page information so with the page information is basically the name of your page so here it is page 10 i can just change the name here if i want then the second option is the page type so if i just click here so there are three options standard tool tip and drill through so your report page can fall into any of these categories we are going to have a look at the tool tip and drill through in some of the other videos so right now we are just sticking with the standard type then there is this option allow q and a so there is a q and a visual that allows you to ask questions about your data so that is part of an ai capability but remember that we saw something related to the synonyms and i said that this functionality is associated with that so here you can actually add synonyms for your pages as well and this functionality can be used in the q and a part but this we are going to explore once we uh, reach the q and a part of the of the of the q and a topic of the of the syllabus then next we have the important setting which is the canvas setting so now i am inside the canvas setting so this is the the setting of this report canvas so if i click on type i am going to see the options the standard options which are there so 16 cross 9 4 cross 3 these are the aspect ratio then you can pick a letter size also which is which you are must be familiar with your uh, with the uh, letter um, format because that is extensively used in all the microsoft office documentation then we are uh, if you are working in a tool tip then this has to be a tool tip but the option that i want to select here is the is the custom option so here you can actually customize the size of your canvas so remember for once whenever we are working in terms of visuals for any image for any video we are dealing with pixels so here this 720 pixel a px means 720 pixels and 1280 px means 1280 pixels so you can change this resolution as per your own requirement so normally if you are working in the hd then the width is 1920 pixels and the height is 1080 pixels but for that you have to actually go and select this custom or custom option similarly you have an alignment option so it is either top alignment or middle alignment so this is the vertical alignment that if you want to change it then you can use any of this option 
the next option is a very important option this is the canvas background so any reporting that you are doing in power bi it is better to actually build your wireframe the design of your report outside of power bi i am going to explain why that is important once we uh, discuss the topic of performance analyzer but remember that if uh, this should be your practice that you design the layout of your report the the complete wireframe of your report outside of power bi you can do you do that inside of powerpoint you can use figma but whatever tool you use you need to save the output in the form of an image and here you can come and then you can browse for that particular image you can click here and then you can browse for particular that particular image so right now i'm going to bring in an image and i want to show you how uh, the canvas background looks like so right now i have selected a report layout from one of the images that are there inside my computer and i'm going to click on open but here it shows that the image is, is, is there but I cannot see the image. So the reason for that is that there is a transparency element here which actually does not allow the image to actually be seen. But now once I reduce the transparency to zero, I can see. And then if the size of the image is different than the size of your canvas. So remember the canvas size right now is 1280 by 720. But the size of the image is, is different. Ideally, you should have the same size image so that you don't have to worry about it. But if you have a different image, then you can come here and select on fit. And you are going to see that that image is now going to be placed as a part of my canvas. So now I can draw my visualizations here. I can build anything that I want. So, so normally, uh, this part is done outside of uh, the Power BI tool. And I'm going to explain in, a for, in another video that why you need to do it in terms of the optimization things. Next, I am going to go and explore the wallpaper setting. But for that, I am just deleting this image from here. And I will go into the wallpaper area. So again, I'm going to go and browse for that particular image, bring in that particular image. And now you can see that if I just minimize these areas so this is the area the area and on the on the corners so even if you want to have by default this is this is white but if you want to change this particular area as well then you can go and change the wallpaper with whatever uh, wallpaper or whatever color that you want to put here if you do not want to put an image then you can actually go and select a particular color so you will see you're going to see that this is the color that is actually appearing here so if i reduce this then you are going to see that some part of the of the uh, bottom part is also part of this wallpaper so normally people keep this as as white because most of the reports have a white background and some color is there but if you have a colored background then you can choose a color from here then the last two settings are related to the filter pane so this is the filter pane so you can go and customize the filter pane you can change the font you can change some of the, the things that, that appear here. Uh, I'm not going to go into these details because these are very, very simple. So just keep this thing in mind and, and some of the things we are going to see in some of the other videos. So just keep this thing in mind that these settings are very much similar to the settings that you see inside the office, Microsoft Office uh, environment. And these are very uh, self-intuitive and very easy to understand. Last is the filter cards. So these are the filter cards. So these these... Uh, these areas these areas are your filter card so uh, some type of customization you can do even with this filter cards area but normally this area is the area that normally uh, very you know very uh, it is very rarely touched because it's uh, it's not something that is part of your report it is just there to be used in the form of some kind of a setting that you want in the in the background and once you have the report published uh, in the form of a web page or in the form of a URL or even in the form of an embedded uh, embedded uh, application, then this report page, uh, this filter area is not available. So uh, people are not very concerned about formatting this, this area. So that was all about configuring the report page. So this is the first thing that you do. And normally you prepare the background and then you put your background and then you start building your visualizations on top of that. So that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next one.